And with the completion of the remaining pieces of the THAAD system, the focus now turns to how China will react going forward. It appears Beijing is already making its feelings known, with the effects of its economic retaliation being felt among a wider spectrum of South Korean industry. Among them, it appears South Korean firms in the agricultural and auto sectors are feeling the blowback the worst. Lee jong yeon reports. Beijing has stepped up its economic retaliation against Korean businesses despite Seoul's efforts to ease tensions over the deployment of the U.S. missile defense shield, and the effects are now visibly spreading across multiple sectors. South Korea's agricultural exports to China have fallen for six months in a row since the tensions between South Korea and China began to grow in March. According to the Korea Agrofisheries and Food Trade Corporation, Korea exported around $86 million of agricultural exports to China in August, an almost 11 percent drop on year. With the deployment of four additional launchers, there are growing concerns that the export figures will drop even further. In the car industry, Hyundai and Gia Motors, Korea's two biggest car makers, are seeing plummeting sales. As the economic retaliation over THAAD deployment hit the industry, pundits forecast total sales of less than 7 million cars this year, which would mark the lowest figures in six years and is 15 percent below the target sales for the year. The sales figures in China show the most noticeable drop, with just 1.3 million cars sold so far this year, less than half of the production capacity in China. The effect of all this can be seen on the Korean stock market as the total stock value of the top 10 companies heavily reliant on Chinese consumers tallied at 45 billion U.S. dollars on Friday. According to Korea Exchange, that is a drop of more than 20 billion U.S. dollars over the past 13 months, a 27 percent decrease compared to last July before the deployment of the THAAD batteries was finalized. Lee Jong-yeon, Arirang News.